Welcome to Travel Shots Live, where I bring you unedited footage of all the places I travel. Today's a food vlog. I get some comments every now and then that you guys love it when I do food vlogs. So I thought I'm gonna do one today. Before I leave the great country of Hungary, I picked up some Hungarian snacks that I wanna show you. And then we're gonna do the taste test and see how they taste. Okay, I mean, okay. So I got a bag of chippies. Look at this. Don't ask me to pronounce this. I have no idea. I have no idea, but take a good look at the picture of these chips, right? <laughs> I can get it right. They got sausage flavor. What? I have never seen chips. This is sausage flavored chips. I've never had sausage flavored chips. If you're gonna try to get me to pronounce this, I think, actually this looks like a Turkish symbol. Doesn't this just look like a Turkish symbol to you? Like from Turkey? Maybe these are Turkish snacks. Let me see what it says. Um, I don't have my glasses. That's gonna be impossible. I don't know if they're from Turkey or if they're actually Hungarian. But anyway, I found them in the store and I was like, okay, I never had sausage flavored chips. So let's see what they look like first of all. Well, you know what? They look like barbecue chips, don't they? They smell like regular chips. So let me see if the proof is in the taste. Are they really sausage flavored? Let's give it a shot. Hmm. It's mild. I do taste sausage. Oh wait. It has a bit of an aftertaste. Yeah, it's got a lingering kind of fatty sausage taste. Not really spicy, but I'd say they're not too bad. They're not really that bad. Again, I think I'll have a second one. Mmm. <laughs> they're good. They're good. I'd say these are a thumbs up. I mean, I don't eat chips all the time, but that's different. I mean, I wouldn't say it's like an outstanding sausage taste. It's it's there, it's noticeable, but it's not like bam, in your taste buds kind of thing. Mm -mm. But it's all right. Would I buy them again? Probably not, but I will eat them since I bought them. So let me cleanse my palate and I'll show you what else I got. Mmm. <laughs> Okay, I got three of my favorite types of flavored candy bars. And again, this is very rare for me because I usually do not eat snacks at all. But I was like, this is pretty cool. Number one, Riddle Peanut Butter Cups. Okay, you know what these remind me of? Back in the States, they have the red label and they're called Reese's peanut butter cups, which are my absolute favorite chocolate peanut butter bars on this planet. Okay, so let me see if Riddle, if I can open these things. I don't know how to open this. Oh my God. Here we go, here we go, here we go, I got it. Let's see if Riddle lives up to Reese's legend. I will tell you in just a minute. Well, it doesn't quite, well, that's neat. Here's what they look like. So they're shaped like a cup, but see the Reese's peanut butter cups, they actually come in a little like paper kind of thing, like a confetti paper thing, and you take them out of the paper. So let's see what they taste like. You ready? Here we go. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. There's a wafer in here. A very bottom part. 
is a wafer. Now, I hate to say it, Riddle. You're not as good as Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. You're all right. Mmm. It's okay. It's different. Um, it's more creamier than Reese's. I taste the, the wafer. Um, there's chocolate. I don't know. I'm just not a big fan of wafers, but all of these have wafers in it. You can't really get around it. I guess people out in Hungary like wafer bars. I don't know. Anyway, here's my next favorite flavor. Well, actually, this one is. Let's do this one. It's called Belmenda. Look at that. Ooh. Coconut. Ooh, yeah, girl. I like coconut now. Coconut and peanut butter are like my top two flavors. I think I might have, yeah, I like coconut better. No, I like peanut butter better than coconut, but it depends on how it's put together. Or it could go the other way. Opening. The anticipation. Ooh. Another wafer bar I can see from the bottom. All right, let's get it. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, it tastes like coconut and chocolate. Actually, I don't taste a wafer. Maybe it just looks like it has a wafer. Does that really look like coconut to you, though? I mean, usually coconut's whiter. It's okay, but it's got a funky aftertaste. I don't know. It's sort of funky monkey to me. It's like, eh. I give it like a thumbs up this way. <laughs> it's neutral, right? It ain't up or down. Cleanse my palette. I got one more little thing to try. I hope this one's good. This one's called, this is a um, pistachio flavor. It's my third favorite flavor. Balatin. Express. If I'm reading that right. You see that? Balatin Express. All right, let's give it a shot. Sexy, sexy. Oh! Gotta open it, sexy. All right, here we go. It's what it looks like. Okay. Hmm. I sort of taste pistachio. Oh, okay, now it's coming in. It takes a minute for that flavor to get into your mouth. It looks like there's caramel in it. You see that? There's some kind of caramel in there. It's not bad, it's like a nougat. The pistachio is a nougat, it's a nougat, which I'm not a big fan of nougats. It reminds me of um, Milky Ways back in the States, but they're not bleh, pistachio flavor. <clears throat> I'm just not a candy person, what can I say? I mean, it's like, it's all right. Like I said, I bought them, I'll eat them. Would I buy them again? Probably not. I mean, that one I'll give it as a neutral. So I do like the potato chips. So I say yes to the chips. Sausage flavor. I will say yes to the peanut butter cups. I thought these were good. Um, but the neutral ones are the coconut and the pistachio. You know what I mean? I'm sort of neutral on that. It's like, eh, take it or leave it. So that's my crazy food blog video. Tell me what you think. Have you guys tried any of these? Would you want to try them? If you have, what's your favorite? Everybody's taste buds are different. You know it. Thumbs up, thumbs down if you like the video. Up to you. Subscribe or don't. Up to you too. If you already have, you know I love you. You know I love you. 
And as always, share this video with the world. Da -da, da -da. And I will see you in the next one. I've got one more video left. I will bring to you tomorrow. That one is going to be the final video from Budapest before I head off to my new destination. Like I said, I can't tell you where it is, but I will give you this clue again. If you want to drop it in the comments, tell me where you think it is. I'm taking a seven hour bus ride, heading north, going to another major city that is still considered Central Europe. That's all the clues I'm gonna give you, okay? All right, if you think you know what it is, drop it in the comment. I love you, I'll catch you in the next one. Woo, peace out.